Welcome to Sentinel-1's Next Generation Endpoint Protection Platform demo video. We'll be focusing on multiple aspects of the Sentinel-1 management server. Chief among them is its incredible ability to centrally manage endpoints and servers across multiple platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. The Sentinel-1 agent can be deployed using a third-party installer, such as Landesk, or the agent can be installed locally. Sentinel-1 offers deployment flexibility with cloud-based and on-premise options. Now, let's log into the management console and explore all of the options Sentinel-1 has to offer you. Once logged in, you're immediately taken to the dashboard view, which provides a top-down view of your environment. Here you're presented with a quick view of all threat activity, including active, mitigated, blocked, and suspicious threats. From this view, you can also gauge the overall health of your environment and immediately pivot to a specific infected machine. Now, let's turn our attention to the navigation bar on the left side showing the different view options. We'll begin in settings so you can get a feel for the different policy options available, and we'll show you how to configure your environment for optimal protection. From the settings view, you can create, edit, and delete policies. You can do this on an individual endpoint basis or as part of a large group of endpoints. For example, you might create a policy specifically for your Windows or Linux server environment or a policy based on a functional group like sales or engineering. You can see here, we have a few policies defined already within this demo environment. Let's take a look at one of these existing policies. There are three actions you can take, but as a best practice, we advise you to set up Sentinel-1 in either kill or quarantine mode to provide real-time mitigation against a threat as soon as it's detected. Any endpoints or servers added to this policy will automatically inherit this action. You can also configure Sentinel-1 to automatically remove an endpoint from the network once a threat is detected, or auto-immunize other endpoints in your environment as new zero-day base threats are blocked. One last area to touch on is notifications. Here, you can define who receives a notification and what level of severity would generate a notification. Next, we'll go to the Activity view, which provides a complete log of all activities taking place across your network, including suspicious activities, mitigation actions, and system updates. There's a lot of information within this view, so we've provided some simple filters so you can quickly isolate specific events. Now, let's take a look at the Analyze view. Sentinel-1's dynamic behavior tracking engine monitors all system level activities down to the kernel and user space. This engine enables us to detect never seen before threats by identifying malicious patterns as they execute. Once a pattern is detected, mitigation actions are triggered in real time. This granular visibility accelerates a team's response to new threats. Let's take a quick look at a current threat that was just detected. Here, we're going to drill down into an active threat on an endpoint. Within this view, you have a wealth of information at your fingertips. You can identify which specific endpoint was infected. You can see if this particular threat was detected anywhere else on your network. And you can identify network connections established within that endpoint. Now, let's turn our attention to the attack overview. This provides a high-level view into the severity of a particular threat, as well as the events that took place. Another useful tool is the attack storyline. Here, you can drill down into the specific steps taken during the course of the attack's execution on the endpoint. You can further drill down into these steps to identify which files, processes, or network actions were performed. All of this information can also be accessed via a raw data report and exported in a JSON or CSV file. The network view provides an overview of all endpoints on your network, the groups in which they're contained, and the policies applied to each of those groups. From this view, IT administrators can create new groups and select existing groups to create a new group with the same policy. IT administrators can also rapidly organize endpoints using smart filters, apply a variety of actions to groups, and edit groups directly from the network view. Last, let's take a look at the black and white list. From the black and white list, you can add known legitimate binaries to the white list to avoid false positives 
and known malicious binaries to the blacklist to proactively block threats pre-execution. The black and white list lives on the endpoint itself and works regardless of internet or cloud connectivity, similar to our dynamic behavior tracking engine. Thank you for tuning in to our demo video. For more information, please visit sentinel1.com.